Lee, if you had to summarise in maybe 90 seconds, and I know that's probably hard, looking around here what you do, um, what is your business about and what can you supply to companies here in the UK and maybe beyond? Well, it, it, it's quite difficult to summarise because we are a fairly wide range supplier of precision machining, components, but we are we're covering through three companies in our group, we're covering aerospace, medical, injection mold tools, and precision parts. And when I say precision, I don't mean machine finished precision, I mean down to five microns. We have a lot of uh, grinding in-house, which would be surface grinding, cylindrical grinding, uh, and jig grinding all in-house. Okay, I had a timer on then, that's just about 90 seconds, so well done. Um, you've got quite a lot of skills here, haven't you? I mean, there's a lot of guys here. Tool making is a, is a bit of an art, isn't it? So that, that rolls out then into general engineering, doesn't it? Yeah, we're not really doing much general, en general engineering. They're all skilled, apprentice um, uh, trained um, people. In fact, about 25% of our staff are Metalite apprentices originally. Are they? So, yes. So there, there are a lot of skilled people here with a lot of years of experience. They've stuck around, which is always a good sign. Yes. Um, tell us about some of the, the machining capacity that we're seeing here that you've got. I mean, we've got an automation cell. I've seen some, um, some fabulous EDM machines as well. Maybe walk us through some of the machines you've got. Wow. So we've got a full range of milling, three axis, five axis. As you've alluded to, some automation as well. We've got small to, to large turning as well, wire erosion, EDM. And do machines like this enable you to be really competitive because you can get that unmanned lights out running? Yes, we, yes it is. And I think, but we are not looking for general work. We're looking for precision parts. We're doing a lot of parts that are five and 10 micron tolerance all day long. Mm. Uh, when it comes to part manufacture, there's obviously a few elements to it. There's the design, there's the assembly. Is that something that you offer here too, or is it just the actual uh, manufacturing itself? We are doing some design, but that's only for injection mold tools. So we are, we are producing to drawing in most of our applications. And we are doing some assembly as well for smaller parts. Lee, having um, automation solutions, precision machine tools like you've got here is one thing, but you need software that's appropriately positioned to be able to yeah. drive them, don't you? Now, you're a user of Open Minds Hypermill software. Talk to me about um, that product and how long you've had it and why you bought it. We switched from a competitor just over a year ago uh, to Hypermill because we, they seem to be one of the best out there at the moment. And we've really got on with it really well. In fact, we've just bought an upgrade, their virtual machine, which has helped us with our uh, pallet loader as well to make the process of getting from a drawing to a machine, to a part that's running without, in, without stopping and, and checking things a lot quicker and a lot easier. So going back to some of the first reasons that you, you opted for Hypermill, was, there, was there, there any particular ingredient that you look at that really made you think this software is much better placed to service what we do? I think it's got a lot more to it and I think it's a lot easier to operate. The virtual machining was has been a really effective for us in reducing the setup time from drawing to an unmanned machining of a part that we're using through our uh, pallet loader now. And, and the machining strategies that it allows you to, to do as well, does that improve your metal removal? Does it improve cycle times too? Yeah, compared... I think some of the helical and dynamic machining, um, machining strategies, they're, that they're helping us quite a lot. What about things to do with the tooling and, and making sure that you've, you know, your, your, your tool library has all the right tools in? Do you get involved in that? I don't personally know, but I know that from now we are modelling not just the part that comes in, but we're modelling the whole machine and the tooling uh, that goes and the work holding that goes on the machine for this virtual machine to work, to work effectively. So how many machines are you using Hypermill to programme? Hypermill's on all our milling machines. It is, so even but your virtual simple... machine's only the one. Okay, but so for your simple three-axis machines, you're using it for that as well? Yes, we are, yes. So even for maybe something that's not that complicated, something that's fairly straightforward to manufacture, you still take it from, from Hypermill uh, to create the program? Yeah, we do, yes. A few words since you've had it. You've had it a year now. How was the training? How was the installation? How's the ongoing support been? 
I'd say faultless for all three, all three of those parts. Really, it's been it's been a breath of fresh air for us. So recommend it to anyone that's uh, thinking of moving uh, um, cam software suppliers. Okay, for buyers that are looking and for other engineers, why would they come to you here in Swindon, Lee? Uh, because we're offering a really good service, a quality product in, built and made in the UK.